All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to yet another first play on launch day. This game just launched within the last hour or two. A game called Don't Fall. It's Hunt Games as the developer and publisher, another indie game developer, and uh, they uh, launched yet another what looks like a you know only up type game. Let's take a look at the trailer here. Yeah, and it looks absolutely horrible. All right. Can we get, an, like, haven't we had enough of these fucking asset cobbling developers cobbling together a whole bunch of fucking trash looking assets in open space uh, and uploading it to Steam? Like, very few of these games are worth a damn. And we got fucking 400 indie developers probably working on another 400 piece of shit games right now. I'm getting sick of these guys. And this one looks bad as well, but maybe it'll surprise me. I'm going to try to go in with an open mind. We'll take a look at Don't Fall, where you play as a frog, jumping higher and higher as well. And uh, comes in at a price tag of $6, and we will be back. Look at this run-on fucking paragraph. Good damn. Like, come on, man. We'll be back to take a look at Don't Fall right after this. All right, welcome back, guys. I have launched the game. Here is the game. When we see it, I guess we can select what country we live in. I don't know. Settings. Settings. When I click settings, there is a long fucking... Dude, I clicked settings. What the fuck, bruh? I did not click play. What the fuck is the game doing? OMG, like it is so unoptimized. I'm clicking settings. Oh, this is maddening. Guys, let me go to Steam and everything's on medium as well. Holy shit. You can play in 4K, but hang on. Let me. Go to Steam, guys. Let's go to in-game settings and let's see what kind of FPS I'm getting here. Oh my god. This is nuts. Like, this game is absolutely lagging out my computer. Oh my god. Somebody just followed me or something, but... That's what that sound was. Alright. Jesus Christ, this game's lagging me out. Unlimited FPS. Everything is on medium. Let's turn shadows. Wait, this doesn't... These things don't even line up shadows. Yeah, these aren't even lined up properly. Not even lined up properly at all. Low on shadows? Hello? How many times do I gotta click low? I mean, the game is lagging so bad in the settings that I can't even select something. Click. Do these developers not even test their own games? Like, I click on something and, like, what, 10 seconds later it does something? Oh, my fucking god. Guys, look at this. I'm getting one frame per second in the menu. In the menu, I'm getting one frame per second. I don't know that I've ever played such a fucking poorly optimized game. Like, when I saw this on Steam, I, you know, it looked really bad. But I had no idea that it would be this bad. I'm getting one to... Now I'm getting two to three frames per second here. I can't even move my... Okay, I, I moved my mouse to move my camera. And... Ten seconds later, I start seeing the camera move around. But this is so poorly optimized, I can't even play. Yeah, look at this. I tried to jump. Look at this. I hit the space bar once, and guys, 
I can't turn my camera, I can't do anything. Hi right, guys, this game can't possibly be this bad. Let me go ahead and reboot my computer and reboot Steam and everything like that. And we're going to come back and try this again. Be back in just a second. All right, guys, welcome back. Fresh reboot of my computer. Other games work perfectly fine on my computer, no problems. We are back in Don't Fall, and again, in the main menu, I am getting two frames per second. Two frames per second. Let's go into the settings here. And I also notice it didn't save any of my settings here. This is just terrible. This might be the worst fucking performing game I've ever played in my life. And for what? For what? This game is taking my computer to its knees. My video card is just going nuts right now. I'm sure the developer will come back and blame my computer, but I think I have a plenty adequate computer to play a game of this type. I mean, my game can, my computer, my computer now can run The Last of Us, the Steam version of The Last of Us, at like 70 frames per second. So if my computer can run The Last of Us at 70 frames per second, there's simply no excuse for this game here. Um... We're going to go ahead and check that, and we're going to go back. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting 100 frames per second. Isn't that interesting? So what was it that caused... All these were at medium. Is it post-processing? No, it doesn't seem to be post-processing on medium. Anti-aliasing? What was it that caused my FPS to tank? I'm just curious. Maybe the developer would like to know as well. What exactly is it that's causing this game to just tank in the FPS? The visual effect, maybe? Medium? No, oh, we seem to be doing fine there. Boilage quality? Medium? Dating quality? Hmm. One of these is just causing the computer to tank when they're all set at medium. Let's leave shadows on low. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the hell was causing it to tank, but I set all the settings to low, and then I put them back again to medium, and now I seem to be running over 90 frames per second in the settings. That's really bizarre. Let's go ahead and hit click play here and see if I can actually play the game now. Okay. There we go. We can actually play now. Yeah, that's a bizarre... I don't know if that's just something weird with my computer or if that's something with the game. Like, I don't know. But, I mean, this is a lot of trouble for a game that looks like this. Look at how horrible the animations look. So, I can move with W like this and just do little jumps. I can also go sideways with A and D like this. And I can go backwards as well with S. So, W, A, S, T. But then if I jump, you can... Oh, you can define how high you jump. And then you can also move with it as well. So, if I hold W and then jump... Hmm. Whoa. That's a little weird. And now I'm under the water. A very odd jumping system for sure. Well, if any of you guys do decide, oh, this game looks great, you want to go spend five US dollars on this game, and you have problems with getting one or two frames per second in the main menu, you saw what the workaround is. Just set all the settings to low and then put them back on medium or whatever. And you should be good. Alright, so we see a plane going across. 
We see a whole bunch of just random assets in the sky, like so many of these games have. Um... Wow. Well, I honestly don't even know what to think, guys. But just the animations, they look horrible. The sound effects are also god-awful. The birds in the distance sound fine. But, yeah, it's really hard to control this game, not gonna lie. Like, just look how far you can jump, it's so ridiculous. It's not like any of these other games I've played. I mean, I guess you have a lot of control over your where you're jumping. But then I just fell right through the roof. Guys, I think we've seen all we need to see of this game, and sadly, most of this video was me spent trying to get out of the one frame per second. Um, I mean, this is just stupid. This is just fucking stupid. Look at this. Let's jump over here! Oh my god. Yeah, that's just stupid. Stupid, stupid how far you can um, jump. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. No frog can jump this far. Oh my god. I don't know... I don't know if this game is actually a joke, or if somebody, you know, made this game this fucking bad, trying to make something good. Because this almost feels like sarcasm. Like if somebody's making a... A joke of a game. Just look how god-awful this looks. Look at how fucking god-awful this looks. And as you can imagine, the game is not fun at all. But, you know, so many of these only up games are just terrible. So, ah! Okay. Yeah, it's just stupid how far you can jump with this stuff. Let's see if we can make just a little bit of progress, I guess, but... It's silly. Oh my god, that almost fucking broke my eardrum. That sound effect there needs to be turned down, bro. For sure. Press E to respawn? Why would I respawn? Why would I want to respawn? What the fuck? That's stupid. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What? I don't understand. I guess some things we just aren't meant to understand? I don't know. I don't know where I go next, but I guess I go over that can. Oh my god. Let's just might as well go... Ah, uh, whatever. Alright. Guys, I think I've seen enough of this particular game. I think we're going to go ahead and exit. I am really curious, though, if I had launched the game again. I'm really curious if I'm back to one frame per second, because I'm over 100 frames per second right now as I exit. still takes way too long to exit. Way too long to exit. And do I keep my diamond? Can I come back in the game? How many times do I got to exit the menu? There we go. All right, let's try this again, guys. I'm just curious to see what our performance is like reloading back into the game. Okay, so I'm doing fine. I'm at 80 frames per second. Did it even keep my settings? Because I think I had shadows on low, everything else was on medium. And sometimes I click settings and it doesn't do anything. Love that fucking hideous looking frog looking at you. Yeah, see, it doesn't even keep your... Doesn't even keep your settings here. You know, whatever you, whatever you set it at, it doesn't save it at all. Guys, this game is just horrible in every shape, way, manner, and everything else. Don't fall. And I've said this so many times, like, one of the worst game experiences I've ever seen. This game is absolutely terrible. Uh, this game is a waste of your hard drive space, so definitely a waste of your money, a waste of your time. And to the developer hunt games, you should honestly be ashamed. Like, even 
even not not even considering the terrible performance and optimization I was seeing until I changed the settings to low and then back to medium, and then I was fine. If we don't even consider that, the game itself simply isn't fun because there's way too much uh, variation or way too much control in your actual jumping distance uh, with the holding down the space to jump as far as you want. Way, way, way too much variance and control there. Uh, you shouldn't have nearly that much control. And a frog shouldn't be able to jump, you know, nine stories off one jump. It should be a progression, you know, going up slowly at a time. Maybe you can have a little bit of uh, degree over, you know, maybe if you hold it down all the way, maybe you jump twice as far as like a normal three foot jump. And if you hold it down, maybe you get a six or seven foot jump. But under no circumstances should you be able to jump once and jump nine stories into this into the air. It's just absolutely stupid. And so terrible game design. The graphics and uh, the assets used are horrible looking. Uh, this is an embarrassment to the Unreal Engine. Yeah, it's, it looks like it just looks terrible, especially for an Unreal Engine game. Uh, you need to, to the developer, you definitely need to rethink your game design, what you're trying to do, uh, and maybe put this up on like itch.io. Uh, and put a lot of work into it, but this right here is definitely not ready for Steam. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch of trash on Steam, but that doesn't mean that adding more trash to the Steam or trying to sell more trash at $5 is going to benefit Steam, Steam customers, and it's definitely not going to benefit you uh, as well. This is a bad, bad game, and it's just cluttering up Steam with even more uh, just absolute garbage. So you need to go back to the drawing board for the developer. And to everybody else wondering if this is a game worth buying, I mean, guys, all you have to do is go to the Steam page, look at the 15 second trailer, and then think for a minute, would any developer that had a good game make a video that's only 15 seconds long and make a video that looks this fucking bad? Come on, you know if the game was good, he'd be able to come up with more than 15 seconds uh, for a trailer and be able to come up with a trailer that looks a hell of a lot better than what you're seeing here. Just bad, bad, bad all the way around, and uh, there's really no excuses, and I know I played a recent game, uh, a back doors game or whatever, and uh, or the back rooms game or whatever, and it was turned out to be made by 13-year-old kids or whatever. I don't care. If you're 13 years old, you legally aren't allowed to be publishing the game at 13 years old. You have to be using your, uh, you know, a guardian or somebody older than you that is uh, of an adult, and so that excuse doesn't apply. If you're somehow using your adult or your older brother or whatever to publish games on Steam uh, as a young kid or a teenager, that's still no excuse because your guardian who's actually putting the game up on Steam should know better, should be playing your game, should be telling you, hey, this isn't you know worthy of the $100 price tag to get your game on Steam, and it's not that good. So shame on you or shame on whoever it was that put this up on Steam. It's just bad. And it needs to go back, and there needs to be a hell of a lot more work done to it. And you need to really be playing your own game and asking yourself, hey, is this fun? Is this something that people, you know, that I would want to pay $5 for if I was a customer on Steam? Would I be happy with the experience? This makes yet another miss video, guys. We're up to miss number 331 now. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Don't Fall. See you in the next video, everybody. Take care.